Hi everyone, welcome to Homebrew Wednesday. Hope everyone's well. Very, very quick one this week. Um, in fact, I'm going to film two episodes back to back. One for this coming week, one for the following week, because I'm out and about and uh, times of the premium, unfortunately. But I just thought I'd quickly share with you this week's sort of theme is glass, bottles, a tin, something that's brown, and a very, very special beer mail from the other side of the planet. But I'll save that till last. But let me quickly show you. Uh, what I've got here, I was given a uh, quite a nice glass, um, Booze on the Ooze, St. Neots 2012 Beer Festival glass, I think that's quite funky. St. Neots is about 10 miles down the road from where I live, um, which is Bedford in the UK, sometimes referred to as Godford. Um, also, was given that as well, nice uh, beer stein, one litre jobby, um, have some fun with that. Um, was also given a fantastic brown demijohn. I love these things. That they are really, really rare um, nowadays to buy, but great for you know meads and wines, things that you need to leave for a long, long time because of its dark. Same principle as your beer in brown bottles, but obviously brown demijohn. So great fan of them, but so they're as as rare as rocking horse droppings or, or hen's teeth. Um, also. Bargain beer times. Um, I've got some here which will make its way to my other show, Thirsty Thursday. But just to quickly show you, I've got a Gaffenvolder Pills. That was 85 English pence from supermarket chain Lidl. Game brewed under the Bavarian laws, etc. That what tips the scales 4.9% ABV, so 85p Lidl's. Also in Lidl's, at the moment, they've got an old speckle hen um, from Moorlands, which is always... Uh, Quite a nice drop. That is 5% on the ABV. That was £1.25. Also in Lidl as well um, is a Whitstable Bay Pale Ale. This is by the Faversham Steam Brewery, which is uh, falls under the um, Shepherd Neem badge uh, or umbrella of companies. But um, looking forward to that one as well. And. Um, not from Lidl's, but this one from Sainsbury's in the UK. Uh, Green King IPA and also the Green King IPA Gold. Those were one English pounds each, so that's a, a bit of a bargain. Um, but as mentioned at the start, um, oh no, actually, before I get onto something that's really exciting, I'm going to have to get onto something that's really naff and not very nice, but going to be bottling up my 40 um, pints of. Uh, bitter tomorrow. Um, I've had a bit of a clear out and I've got, I managed to get together a load of plastic bottles that will pretty much wipe me out of plastic bottles so it cleans a, a room in the cupboard. Um, these bottles are a combination of, you know, Pepsi, um, 500 and some of 600 ml, um, fizzy water, oh, you know, broad pet bottles. So, yeah, they'll do the job, but um, I can sort of clear out half a cupboard now and get them all gone as soon as they're drunk. Bin them and then I've got a load of glassware and uh, kegs to, to fill back up. But, right then, massive, massive thank you to Mr. Grant Baker. Um, Grant hit 300 subs the other week, so I sent him a message and said, Oh, you just hit 300 subs, mate, congratulations. And you know, within seconds, he said, you know, sent me a very nice email back and said, "Oh, thanks very much, Chris. Um, didn't realise I got that. Um, Spotter's badge, something like that. So I'll uh, I'll pop you something in the post." I thought, "Oh, okay. very very nice of him." Um, I was in Germany last week, but whilst I was away, I had a delivery come all the way from New Zealand, which is if you look at the uh, Atlas of the World, it's a a long way away from uh, from the UK, and in the box was kiwi fruit chocolate that Mrs. Brewbear's already got her eye on, and I can see her on a on a laptop over there looking at me shaking her head. So uh, I think I might donate that to her, or maybe try and get a strip myself. And in there as well was a bottle of beer and he very very kindly sent me over a Panhead Customs Ale Vindicator. Check that out. Ruddy L Grant, thank you so much sir, that is fantastic. Now in a few weeks time I'm going to be uploading my 100th um, 
YouTube video to do with beer brewing, home brew, beer tasting, etc. So I might do a Thirsty Thursday meets home brew Wednesday and pop that one. But um, you're a gentleman and a scholar. Thank you so, so much. And I can't wait to try that. So thank you. Um, the only other thing I need to mention is, you know, I, I try and point out bargains to uh, everyone. Um, also, the unknown brewer very kindly put one up about Aldi in the UK. I got a German week on. Um, that they've got the swing top bottle, so yeah, go and check James's uh, channel out as well. Um, so if you are in the UK, go and get some of them. But also in Lidl next week in the UK, they've got at one pounds twenty five Jennings either. Well, I think they're doing the Cumberland Ale and the Snack Lifter Ale, which is which is that. That does it for me. Um, thank you so much as always for watching. Um, really appreciate all of your comments. The um, subscription numbers are popping up a little bit, so uh, yeah, going in the right direction. Thanks very much, everyone. Once again, thanks, Grant, and I'll see you all again soon for another Homebrew Wednesday. Be seeing you.